Hey everybody, Greg here. What we're doing today is uh, we're going to a waterfall. We might go to two, but we're gonna go to one called Buttermilk Falls, okay? Uh, it's easy to get to. Uh, I'm gonna turn around here and be behind me back there, you can see maybe a parking lot, okay? There's actually some kids uh, that are tobogganing with their parents right now just in the parking lot, these little snow drifts. Anyway, uh, there's a parking lot there. It's on the corner of Mud Street and Pritchard Road in Hamilton, Ontario. You pull in and the, the path you can't miss, it's right here. And uh, we're gonna follow the path down to the creek and the creek goes into a Y, okay? And we're gonna take one section to Buttermilk Falls. We might go to the other section depending on weather and stuff like that. I have a feeling though with the snow that's coming down right now, we might have to, uh, I, well, I'll probably have to uh, wipe the lens off quite a bit and I may actually turn the camera off, but I'll try to guide you the best I can, okay? So uh, here we go. I really love this. This is one of my favorite places to go in Hamilton. It's one of the top 10 waterfalls in Hamilton, which is a city of, uh, of over 100 waterfalls. These here, I love this. It's like a sumac tree forest. What you can do when you get here, I do this sometimes, uh, you grab the red berries, okay? You grab these red berries, get a couple of bags of them, dry them out, wash them, and you have them as iced tea. It tastes exactly like iced tea. Really awesome. I just love the fact that it's snowing like this today. Hopefully we'll get some really good uh, video footage and stuff. And uh, I don't like taking pictures of people. So what I'm gonna do right now is just turn off the camera real quick and then turn it back on when they go by. Okay, so with the camera's back on, we're gonna do a bit of a clearing here off the trail. And there's a couple of trails that meet here. These are all the Bruce Trail. Bruce Trail, in case you're not sure, goes from Niagara Falls to Tobermory. And uh, it takes a couple of months to hike. Now, you know what? This, is, this might be a cool little shot. What we're gonna do, as I said, there's two waterfalls in here, okay? Because the creeks come to a Y. And here's one of the creeks down here. Okay, there's one of the, that's one of the creeks, okay? This is part of Red Hill Creek. Now, you're gonna be able to see the edge there. And that's where these creeks, the other creek comes out, just on the other side of that. And they join a Y and then they continue to make the Red Hill Creek down into Lake Ontario. So we're gonna go around, we're gonna go down and around that and then to the waterfall. So, here we go. You will see here the blue blaze, an indication that this is a side trail. It's a side trail of the Bruce Trail. The puppy. <laughs> and here's another side trail. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Hi. How are you? Hi. <laughs> Do you have a name? Oh, that's a, is that a hug? He leans up against me. Oh, buddy. It's Cooper. Hey, Cooper. Yeah. No, I'm Greg. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> aren't you? Aren't you the fellow who organizes the cleanup? Yeah. Yeah, Kathy Goodwin. My husband Mike is. Oh, my! Is Mike here? Yeah, he's right there. There he is. Okay, hi. Nice to see you. I'm filming him. <laughs> this is awesome. So, where you just where'd you go today? Oh, we're just starting our walk here. Oh, you are. Okay. Yeah. What's uh, what's what's the other dog's name? Uh, Sandy. Sandy, come here, Sandy. Come here. Come on, Sandy. Come on, Sandy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Oops, I don't know you now. <laughs> Come on, Sandy. Come on. How are you?
You gotta love dogs on a trail. Okay, so here we are. We're at an area where the trail actually goes straight to the right or to the left, and we're gonna take it to the left and down to the creek. The creek is not frozen over, so it's kind of too bad that I uh, <laughs> didn't wear my hip waders. But I do have some good traction. Just love that kind of thing right there. It's fresh snow falling on the trees. So, here we are. Down here where the trail changes. And we can go either up that way, okay, up the creek that way is Albion Falls, or we can cross here somewhere, and I know there's, there's a bridge up there, but because I'm stubborn, I probably won't cross it. <laughs> I'll probably cross the creek. Because that's, that's the creek there. We gotta follow that in. So somehow, and there is the bridge. Hold on, I'll get a look. Right, there is the bridge there. You cross it and then come up the creek again if we want to do that. I'm stubborn. So, what do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to look here because I don't feel like going up to the bridge because I'm lazy, although I'm out for a lovely day of hiking. I could probably cross that. If I didn't have my camera, I would. But because I do have my camera, I don't want to. And from now on, I'm wearing my, uh, my hip waders. So, yeah, we're going to go up to the bridge. And this here is the Red Hill Creek. And it's funny because from about this bridge point upwards, the creek has been moved. So, in Hamilton, Let's just look at this, that looks kind of pretty. In Hamilton, there's a thing known as the Red Hill Valley Parkway. And in order to do that, the city... That's really nice. Quite lovely. So in order to put the Red Hill Valley Parkway in there, the city had to change where the creek was flowing to make room for cars. Which... It's completely logical, right? Not. So they moved the creek to where it used to be millions of years ago. All they did was dug down, figured out where the creek bed was and moved it. And in doing so, ever since then, they've had nothing but problems with flooding. Because there's a reason the creek moved to where it was. <laughs> Nature does things like that, you know? It's not nice to fool with Mother Nature. You know what? All sorts of mallard ducks too. I'm gonna see if I can get a shot from here. I almost hate to go up there because I don't want to disturb them. But you know what? If I stay far enough away from the creek on the trail, they'll probably be okay. So folks, I'm going to get up to the bridge. What I'm going to do though is to turn the camera off because I want to take some photos. I'll see you on the bridge. Okay everybody, we're back on the bridge. And I'm just having a look at all the ducks here.
All right, I'm just gonna take the tripod down and we'll be on our way again. Gonna try to sneak up on these ducks too. So they're probably gonna go for a bit of a run. Hear them making their calls. They're a little pissed off at me, I guess. looking up with the camera you can hardly tell where the top of the escarpment meets the sky because of the color it's so gray it's been snowing for oh, 24 hours now it's supposed to be getting almost a foot we might have had six inches so far Here's the berries I was talking about. These make really good iced tea. But you really gotta clean them out first, like wash them, because spiders tend to live around them <laughs> or in them. <laughs> Okay, so this is the Y, okay? Here and around the island that way. It's a little island in the middle. A lot of people camp, I do put campfires in there and stuff. So we're gonna follow it to the right. We're just gonna go up over this ridge here. We're gonna follow it in. I'm gonna shut off the camera till we get over top. Okay, so we're now over the ridge. There's the creek. It's still running. Which means you're gonna have some waterfalls. I wouldn't be surprised if the waterfalls are frozen. I love this, look at that. Fallen log, and you can see all the snow that fell on it. Which is great. So quiet and still in here, I love it. This is, what I love about nature. You would never know. I hate when I drop my glove. You would never know just by looking around here at all this nature. You would never know that we were in the middle of a city. Look at that. One thing about the trail into this waterfall is there are lots of fallen logs. It looks like Christmas in here, man. So 
So if you're wondering, I've turned the camera on and off a few times. It's a good 45 minute hike through here sometimes, depending on the uh, ground conditions. Which is why sometimes in the summer, there is a sheer cliff in here. And I will climb it up and down. See, look at all that fallen wood. Fallen trees. Okay, I gotta turn the camera off for a bit and uh, we'll move on further again. All right, so we're about halfway there in the valley going toward Buttermilk Falls. And I'm just loving the way these trees have fallen and the snow that's fallen overnight on them in the last 24 hours. I can't get over how beautiful it is in here. It's just so serene. Now, one thing I'm seeing, and you can't see it, but that little black, that dark blotch down there, that's actually part of, hold on, there's the one, that's the one I'm talking about. That's water, I'm talking about that one there. You see that? That ain't natural, that's metal. Maybe part of a rear differential, I don't know. I don't know anything about cars. But that's good to know because one of the things I do is run a nonprofit organization called the Escarpment Project. And what we do is we come to places like this and pull that stuff out. So as long as that's not too heavy, and we do it at the end of April, the water still be running a bit, but if that's not too heavy, I'll get in there with some other people and get rid of it if we can. That is just so beautiful. Look at that stuff. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off and uh, go up here and get over these trees and stuff, the deadfall and work our way a little closer. All right, we're getting a little closer now. And we're a little further in. It's actually just up there. I almost guarantee it's frozen. It's up there a little bit to the right. So, and it's a good thing I uh, closed, turned off the camera because as you can see, I walked in a couple of drifts. One went up to my knee. You know what else is interesting with that? It looks to me, what do you think that is? It looks like a grocery cart to me. I know, it's, it's kind of interesting how these things get in here, you know, parts of a car, but there used to be a road and a bridge here. Um, and sometimes people just, uh, a long time ago, like these things have probably been here for over 50 years, some of them. And what will happen is uh, people will steal a car, push it over the edge and burn it out just so they don't get caught. That was then, just for kicks, I guess they did that. I don't know. So for the last seven years, we've been pulling stuff like that out of here through the Escarpment Project. And if you ever want to do that, just go to the website, escarpmentproject.ca and sign up for our spring cleanup. We have others too, but the spring one's the big one. We get over a thousand people. All right, let's move on. <laughs> sure enough, <laughs> look at that. Sure enough, that is part of a grocery cart. And it makes sense because, ta-da! Looks like someone has tried building a fort. Got snow on it now. Footprints going into it. They haven't been here in a couple of days, or someone hasn't, because there's a footprints. What they do is they'll throw it down from the top and they'll use part of it as a grill for a fire sometimes. Okay, let's move on again, shall we? I think I'm gonna try to get through here. I'm gonna turn the camera off. So guess where I am? Inside that little fort. Just a little one. Kind of cute. You can see how small it is. Right. So I'm sitting down, my head's almost touching the top. Kind of neat in here. 
All right, now we gotta get going again. All right, we're getting a little closer. If you're really quiet, you can probably hear the waterfall from here, just in the background. You hear that? Okay. A little, you can't even tell that's uphill, I don't think, through the camera, but it is. And actually, if I'm not mistaken, it's hard to tell from this angle. That's part of the cliff. I don't want to promote doing it, because I've been doing it since I was 15. But that's part of the cliff that I climbed down in the summer only. There's the cliff there. So just around the corner here to the right, we'll find the waterfall. I'm gonna go down here. And I know the creek is here. I just don't know how wide it is at the moment. In other words, how much of it is frozen, and how much of it is dirt. I see this. Oh, you can hear it. So I'm just gonna stay close to the edge here. So if I go in, I don't go in very far. There's the bridge over top of the creek on the top. All right, my battery light's on, so I'm gonna turn off the camera. We're gonna go in. Let's go. All right, so there it is, everybody. That's Buttermilk Falls. And actually, if you you can see this from the top, there is a parking area at the top of this falls. And you stand on the bridge and look over to the side. And it's on, if I'm not mistaken, the road at the top. It's called Mountain, Bar if I'm not mistaken, the road at the top is called Mountain Brow Boulevard, just before it turns into Mud Street. So if you remember where we started at the corner of Pritchard and Mud Street, you can actually take Mud Street down around the bend and you'll find yourself here. And also at the top, the, the intersection is Mountain Brow Boulevard and Lime Ridge Road.
So it's hardly running at all today. But you know what? Right now we're not even mid-February. In less than 90 days, this snow is going to melt and this creek is going to be raging. And so is that waterfall. This waterfall, I don't think it ever completely dries up in summertime at the end of the summer when it's really dry out. But it does turn into a trickle like it's doing right now. All right. And there it is, everybody. Buttermilk Falls in Hamilton. Hope you've enjoyed the tour. Remember to press that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more waterfall videos.